I'd like to show you how to use style files in QGIS to get the same coloring. When you first load a polygon layer, it typically loads it with a uniform style. So if I look at this data layer and I open the attribute table, I see I have this min type. And here at the end, I have this species codes. I'm using those species codes to identify the, the type of a cover type I have for each polygon. And so this DNR species code I can use to color if I wish to color by a layer. So if I right click and go to the properties, I can, instead of a single symbol, pick a categorize, and I've shown this in a previous video, and categorize by the values that I have in a layer. Classify looks through and finds all the different values and then assigns a different color for those. Now the color is a random color, or I can pick a different color assignment ramps, but the standard ones to begin with just give me this sort of assortment of colors. And they might not make sense. Water is green in this case. I don't think so. Now remember, I can modify these by double left clicking and changing a color, changing the water to blue. Okay. Okay. Apply. Okay. And we can see it changes the water features to blue, but it's laborious to do that for every time I load something. So what I can do is create a style file, which is the set of colors I have, and then load it again. So I could go here and change the colors to a set I want. And then once I've done that in the properties, go down at the bottom and say style and save the style. When I save the style, I save it to a location and I give it some name. So this is my next example style. And it saves it as a QML file, this QML extension. And I'll say OK and apply and OK. And so I have that there. And then I could apply that value. So I'll zoom to this other layer. And I will, in the properties, <clears throat> style load a style. And I have to find that QML file. Here's my next example QML. And I'll open that load the style, apply, and OK, and I can see I have that same set of colors. Now this is a goofy color set. What I could do is I could go right click and go to the properties, and I can load a better style that I saved earlier, and I'll call this type styles too. You see I have a bunch of different color styles. For different maps I can save different styles, but for example, for a timber stand map, I'm going to be generating a series of, I might want to use the same style for all of them. So I might want to use on all of them this type style too. So I select that, I open it. Again, I load it. I apply it and say OK. And now I have that type style too. Now I could go ahead and do that same sequence to load that type style too here to my second layer. But there's another shortcut, a trick I can do. In this first stand with this type, type style too, right, this layer, I can right click. Instead of going to the properties, I can go to styles and copy all the style categories, all the things. And then I can go to my second layer and go to styles and paste the style. And so I can copy within a project the styles that I have already in that project, or I can load from an exterior file a style I've gone to the trouble of changing all the colors to some I want, and then apply that. So as long as I have a common variable, the same variable in a layer, as the layer for which I created a style, I can load that style. So if I didn't have one of those variables in my layer that had the same name, as my style that didn't have this species code type with the same categories, I couldn't apply a style file. But as long as I do that, I can then create a map that has the same coloring. So I could load various different layers with the same kind of data in the same column, even though there'll be different configurations of the stands and different looks and amounts and numbers, it'll get the same coloring and it'll have the same general look and feel so people can interpret it as a standard.